Today I will show you how to get your grey and boring looking landscape to the next level with an easy to follow landscape material in Unreal Engine 5. Let's get started. So to give our boring looking terrain some love we need to add some colors and for that we head over to get content, Quixel bridge and I give you an example for how to download and import the textures. Let me search for mountain under surfaces obviously. And if we scroll down, we already have some results. You can filter them more under the categories here. But let's see what we have. We want something without a lot of detail, like the lynched rock. That's nice for a detail texture, but not for a base terrain. We need something pretty easy and straightforward. I'm happy with this jacked rock. So I go under medium quality. And I need to sign in. If you already signed in, you can download. Let me sign in real quick. So now I'm signed in and I can just hit download. Give it a few seconds. So now it's downloading. And when that's done, we can go ahead and import it to our project. Hit add and boom, done. You have everything in your project. You have your diffuse, your normal and your mask setup where the roughness and ambient occlusion, stuff like this is already included. A 2K texture is completely fine. You don't need AK or so on your terrain. So save some performance, go for 2K, perfect, good enough. So with this texture downloaded, I need two additional ones because I'm using a three layer setup. You go ahead and download your textures. I see you on the other side when we start creating our shader. So when we have our textures imported, which you can find under mega scans and surfaces, it's time to create our material. For that, we just right click material and let's call it landscape. Let's open this one up and let's go back to the content browser here. And first we can import the jack rock. So for this, we just click the textures, drag and drop. So to make sure our textures are in web mode, just hit the texture and make sure the sampler source is to shared web. It tells you already what it does. We use web to use multiple textures in our shader. So when we have our textures set to web, we need to make sure to add our landscape material attributes or just material attributes. So now we need to make our material attributes. For that, we right click and make material attributes. We use this basically as a bridge for our landscape material. So now we just need to connect everything. Let's sort it real quick, just for the eye. And let's put our base color in base color. Here is our mask. Let's go to our normal and the mask is broken down into red is M in occlusion and green is the roughness we need. Blue we can skip. So with that out of the way we need to add texture coordinates because right now it would apply one time for the whole landscape which would look really strange and we want to make sure our material is tiling. For that, we just right click and look for text, texture coordinate. Here we go. We also need a multiply for that. You just can click M or hold M and click. So you have your multiply and hold down your one key and left click. And let's convert this guy to a parameter. Let's call it tiling. So the parameter is useful because we have it in our material and if we want to change the tiling, we don't need to reopen this material all the time. In the end, we will use an instance of this material and we can just change the number and don't need to reopen the main material. So we can just change the tiling on the fly. And let's connect it into A, into B and now into the UVs. So everything is tileable now. Let's save the material. And we are almost done. We just need to repeat it for our other material. 
or not for our material, for our other textures. Just mark everything, copy paste and copy paste again. So now we can go back into our content browser. Oh, let me refocus this one. And let's go to the, let's go to the mossy grass. There's a really nice trick to change the textures. We could change them over the drop down here. But if you go on the diffuse node in your content browser, hit that node and then just hit this arrow, it's replacing the node. So let's go under the mask or we can use this content browser also. You don't need to use this one. Every window has its own content browser with control spacebar. Let's go on the mask, hit the mask. Close it down, hit the error, hit the normal, hit this normal, close it and normal. And let's do it one more time. Now we want the snow. So that's our diffuse, diffuse, close it, diffuse, mask, close it, mask, normal, normal. Perfect, done. So we have set up our textures and now we need to make a landscape material out of this. Let's save and let's jump to the next point. So to use our textures as a material we need to add the layer blend. For that we just right click and look for landscape layer blend. Here we go. Now we need to tell our layer blend how many layers we have. We have three so we add three elements. And under every element, we can give it a name like snow and grass and walk. So now we have our layer blend and we need to connect our textures to this layer blend. For that, we just go up to this was our walk. We can also just mark everything, hit C and call it walk. And we get the output and put it on layer walk. And now we repeat everything for the other textures like grass. Or was it grass? Let's check real quick. Yeah, it was the grass. Put it in layer grass. Mark everything, C, call it snow, snow, let's save. And now we have everything connected. We still need to feed it into our landscape material. But before we need to change one thing, we need to make sure we activate use material attributes. Perfect. Now we have a really tiny material, put it into here, hit save again. It's normal that it's black, so everything is fine. We saved it. Let's go out of here, control spacebar. And let's create a material instance. So right click your material and create material instance. We will apply this instance to our landscape. So let me go to our landscape, landscape material and look for landscape. You can also just drag and drop it. Now give Unreal a few seconds. Now don't fear, that's normal. We need to fix it in the landscape. And for that we head over to the landscape mode. And if we go under paint, we have our three layers. Snow, grass and rock. Because there are no weights assigned at the moment, we need to add these weights to the layers. For that, we just create a layer info by clicking on this plus, weight blended layer, save it in your content. And when it's done, you have your snow layer info. So we need to do this for the other layers also. So just hit the plus again, weight blended layer, content, save. And one more time. And now we have our information 
in the terrain. So now we can start painting. Let's go for this little pass. Hit the grass. And let's see what happens. So right now it looks pretty blobby. As you can see, it's uh, yeah, a little blob. But that's no problem. We go back to the selection mode with shift one. Open our landscape instance. And that's because we didn't enable the tiling yet. So hit this check mark. And let's say one, just to test it. And wow, we have some texture. But one isn't really a nice number. I would go for, let's try 0 0.25. And now this looks way better. So now we have our grass. We obviously have our snow. And if we go back with shift two, we can also add our walk. So let's make the brush size a little bit smaller. If you're painting and your system is hanging a little bit, that's normal. If you paint a new texture for the first time, a new material on the landscape, that can happen. Just let it work. It will come back to you. So let's see what happens if I paint my walk. So as you can see, it's chugging a bit. I'm already going over budget, but because I'm also recording. So as you can see, we are painting our material and we can adjust the fall off if you want to make it a little bit harder. So here we go. That's our three layer landscape material. It's really easy to set up. It's really useful for some quick prototyping or for a portfolio project. You can build it out, make it more advanced, use some noise to get some better tiling and offset. And if you're wondering how you can fill this huge world with some nice looking grass or trees, you really should check out the video where I'll teach you how to use the new PCG system in Unreal Engine 5.